We are committed to making them better for people, for workers. and for Jagmeet families. Singh dropped the heart of his party's future platform in the place where he spent part of his childhood, Newfoundland and Labrador. And that's the vision that we have for Canada, making the ultra-rich pay their fair share so we can invest in people. There is a lot packed into the 115-page plan, but a lot is not new. Singh campaigned on national pharmacare and dental care, more affordable housing and a wealth tax in 2019 too. His party lost 15 seats. But that was before the pandemic. That's what we're hoping people realize, that all the things we talked about are the things that people need now more than ever. The key challenge for the NDP is that even though you have a similar package or similar measures or things that people may have heard before, uh, you have to repackage it and sell it in the context of a post-pandemic recovery. This time around, the call for more taxes goes further. There's a repeat of the two percentage point boost for top bracket earners to 35 percent. Now, the one percent wealth tax for the ultra rich applies to anyone who earns $10 million, down from 20. And a new COVID-19 profit tax would slap a 15 percent tax on corporations with pandemic windfalls. What we know from public domain polling is the wealth tax is incredibly popular. The action plan does have new ideas, some triggered by the pandemic, including a call to end for-profit long-term care and bring in national standards. Frankly, you know, it, it should be a key election issue for everyone, given the fact that, you know, we lost 14,000 residents in long-term care in those first two waves alone. So much packed into a pre-platform document, but there is something noticeably missing. Clear costing for many very big promises. The party says that will come in an eventual campaign. And Jagmeet Singh had some non-policy news to announce as well Thursday. He and his wife are expecting their first child. Robin? Abigail Beeman in Ottawa. Thanks, Abigail.